Hi, welcome to the 2012 Mid-Hudson Valley E-Week presentation. This year we're going to be doing Engineer a Boat. So the whole um, story behind it is there's an island of penny people and they really want to see the world so we're going to try to engineer them a boat so they can sail off the island and see the world. So we have to put as many penny people on the boat as possible and using the fewest, mat you know, the, the fewest materials most efficiently. So for this project, uh, our materials are paper clips, tape, popsicle sticks, ping pong balls, and a piece of paper. Now, these materials, if you so choose, you can pack them um, and of course make sure that there are no animals that try to get onto the island first. Thank you. So you can pack the materials all in a paper bag. So for grades ki kindergarten through about second grade, we're going to do a step-by-step. -step. So we're going to build the boat step-by-step. -step. And especially for kindergarten and first grade, you want to assign every person in the group, because they'll be splitting in groups, assign them each a task. So there'll be one person that's the taper. And one person is the person who gets to hold all the supplies. Another person is the assembler. You know, make up names, um, but you know, for, especially for kindergarten, you, you have to make sure that it's extremely direct and that you know, there's not like, oh, this is mine, this is mine have the teachers help you out as well. So for the older kids, we're just going to give them all the materials and they're just going to engineer a boat by themselves. So I'm going to do this step by step with some help from my assistant. So first, um, we're going to take a popsicle stick. Okay, actually I'm going to take three popsicle sticks. And this is going to be a simple one. So I'm just going to make basically a triangle shaped boat. So I'm just going to start making tape loops. So if you have someone in the group that's going to be the taper, just, you know, have them just start making tape loops. Little small tape loops, okay? And because they're going to be just doing this the whole time, making tape loops. So you put two like that, you put one of these over here, and then you use another tape loop. Thank you, my assistant. You've been extremely helpful. Another tape loop. Have this third piece to there, and now we have a base. So now three more tape loops for the ping pong balls. And these will give it a little bit of height and, bu and buoyancy. And remember, this is only for the younger children that you're going through this step by step. And you want all the groups to do this at the same time. That way, you know, no one's getting ahead or, and you can really concentrate on one step uh, for the, all of them. So we're gonna put the three tape loops down Gonna take our three ping pong balls. Gonna put them down. Okay. Guess what's next? Well, more tape loops. So this, we're gonna put the piece of paper right on the top. And that's gonna be where we're gonna hold all of the uh, pennies or, you know, in the, today we have other coins, but for, in the classroom you'll, you'll have just a lot of pennies. And all these materials will be provided by your district coordinator. So, we get a piece of paper, simply fold it in half, like this. If you want, you can have them cut it in half. What I like to do is kind of fold up the edges, like that, and like that. And just kind of put it right on there. And we have a boat. So, now let's see how many pennies it can hold. And so for the older kids, they'll have come up, you know, they'll have a design phase where they're going to sketch out their project. You're going to give them all the materials, they're going to put it together, and then you're going to have the testing phase. So remember, we're engineers, so we design things, then we test them. So this is the testing phase. You're going to have a little Tupperware with some water. You just, in your school, water fountain in the bathroom, just find some water you can put in this Tupperware. And here we go. It's a boat. So now let's see how good the boat is. So I'm just gonna start putting, in the classroom you'd actually like either count these out or see how many, but you just kind of put these on and you can see it's slowly getting down. The pennies are still safe. Uh-oh, some water's coming in. Oh, and the water started coming into the boat. So we would count how many pennies this design was able to hold. And we would say, okay, this design was able to hold this many pennies. So if the older kids, you know, you'd have a winner for the younger kids, if you want, you can just play around, you know, show, oh, look at these boats, you know, running around in the water. But that's basically it. 
So you'll notice that we didn't even use any paper clips. So for the younger kids, we're not even going to give them paper clips. For the older kids, they might use it, they might use the bag, they might use the extra popsicle stick. Whatever they want to do with these materials, they can do. So thanks and good luck.